Now this room is definitely very interesting but we'll see at the end of the video how to make good use of this room. Now we are gonna make a tour of Terratan Keep finally. So let's start from here. Terratan Keep, you arrive here from Papua. If you reach Papua and you go all your way to the, to the west, you reach Terratan Keep and the entrance of Terratan Keep is here. Okay. These are the stairs. This is Terrathan Keep outside. Let's see if there's somebody here. There's nobody here. Let's put the map on. Okay. So basically all the way to the, west, to the east now is Papua. There is this long road that you have to walk to, to enter Terrathan Keep. And once you're here, well, we, we'll, we're not talking about the outside now. We will talk about the inside. But once you reach here, here's the, the descent to Terratan, to Terratan Keep, where you have this tower. And here is the first interesting thing, because here, normally, in this tower, either on this tower or on the other tower, what you can do is summon an animal, for instance, to take the aggro. <coughs> this is going to be useful if you're going to find Terratan Keep, because taking the aggro of all these guys, you don't do... Oh, stay... You don't do it with the summon, you, you do it with the, um, with the tame. But of course, if you do this, they're gonna take the aggro, and you can approach them safely, and safe and sound, without any problem. It's, 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 just, just the spawn is gonna polarize on, the, on it. So let's see. So once the spawn polarizes on it, this is the swamp. Oh, wait, there's a lot of spawn here. <coughs> okay. So this, the spawn has polarized on it, see? Watch it polarize. And once it polarizes, you're right. You're really free to wander. Okay, here's another Avenger. Okay, that's not a problem. Okay, here, bear in mind this. Let's make the spawn all polarized here so that we are not gonna have problems. Here is the swamp. In much later eras, there used to be a nightmare spawning here in this swamp. I believe it was Age of Shadow. This swamp is no recall zone. If you go, if you go to the south, this swamp is no recall zone. So, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful with no recalling, okay? Get stuck in stalagmites. There's another Avenger there. Okay, here, if you go a little bit to the north, is actually recall zone I don't know why they made the dungeon like this but you see, see how polarized they are but this is how the dungeon works so color poor no does not work color poor does not work so basically the half line of this of, of the um, halfway across the swamp there's no recall zone okay now let's let's head south Let's head south. Here you start to have Ophidians. Ophidians and uh, this is the north area is the um, Terratan area and the south area is Ophidian area. And the, the two species, they they fight each other. So even if you're no bard, you can, you can do this. You can have your Terratans polarized here. Go grab Ophidians from the south and drag Ophidians and they will start fighting each other. So if I drag these Ophidians, you watch and I'm gonna... They're gonna aggro the, the Terratans and vice versa. So for instance, this Terratan Avenger will do magic. So this is the way to farm here, basically. Oops. Yeah, now. Sometimes bars are more juicy. Sometimes bars are more juicy to aggro. I see. Now it will aggro. Uh, maybe yeah, it went up there. Uh, yeah, that's not a problem. They will aggro this, they will aggro that. That's not a problem. So it's very easy. So the trick is that you may you may drag, for instance, Ophidian Avengers or Ophidian Knight Errand, and those guys will munch through will munch through Theratans. Okay, let's go let's go further south here. 
stalagmite zone here this used to be a super duper hot spot on, on, on Europa here you have level 4 chest one of these is a level 4 chest I believe it spawns up here there is only one level 4 chest here and is almost never picked this chest because this is no recall area again this is no recall area so you gotta have your lock picker and you gotta come here <coughs> for a chest and normally lock pickers are on foot so you don't want to stealth inside here because it takes forever because it's several steps it only takes 10 steps at a time so it's several steps you don't want to do that but yeah if you for some reason want to do that there's a level 4 chest there and it's never picked i honestly don't know the respawn timer so my, maybe it's a fast respawn timer so you might stay there might stay there with your um, with your lock picker and idle there but rest assured people scout here i mean bjv scout here with tracking so you don't want to stay there for too long because it's risky here is another swamp area and here in renaissance era a nightmare spawns here boy this was a real challenge honestly this was a real challenge to tame a nightmare here it was so wild and crazy i remember on europa seeing like 20 tamers here it was and 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 more pks it's, it's crazy stuff crazy stuff here we have these corridors that serve no purpose there's nothing here just annoying spawn Uh, so let's take a look here. Let's try. I'm constantly peacemaking because here it's a mess. Here you can walk some. Okay, you can walk up here. There's the dragon here that you can tame. But again, if you tame a dragon here, yeah, sure you can tame a dragon here. But <coughs> first, how do you make it not aggro everything? And how do you take it out? Because here is no mark, no recall, no gate travel zone. So it's gonna be hard. Okay, let's move down here. Okay. And what else do we have here? Um, my mount is fatigued. This is one thing that I... Okay, we need to find out how to where to dismount now. Okay, wait a sec. Okay, here we have this river. So we're gonna have an adventure. We are gonna have a, a, a small adventure also with the boat. But later, so stay tuned, because later we're gonna have an adventure with the boat. Okay, here we can dismount the nightmare safely. I hope so. To refresh the stamina okay let's see this is another part of the dungeon we are on the ledge here here we reconnect with the previous part of the dungeon with the stalagmites where we came from and if you go if we go north we go again to the back to the swamp to the main swamp here are more narrow passages with really nothing interesting we're still in the ophidian area heavy populated ophidian area and here we can move there's two corridors. We can either pick the south corridor here or the north corridor. But I, we end up in the same zone. Okay, let's check this. You see? But we might also come from here. You can. They're just the same. I mean, there's no feature in one, no feature in the other. I wonder. I've always wondered if you can tell it, if you can tell it here. Because you, you see, there's patches of. There's places definitely where you, sh where you could maybe not click with teleport, but um, input teleport uh, coordinates with the razor, and you can tell it there. <coughs> I believe I have a video uh, of uh, of me teleporting there, not teleporting, but using previously marked moons in dark areas like this. See, something can be done, I believe. We will try that maybe in another video, not now. Okay, because it requires razor manipulation. Yeah, weird stuff. Okay, so the south corridor ends here. And I don't think you can place boats from here. I don't have a boat, so I have to grab a boat eventually. Uh, okay, let's, let's check. And here, two corridors connect, and here we arrive at um, the first interesting part of the dungeon here where we have a bridge this bridge sort of separates i believe ophidians from um, Ooh, where is he gone there was a pedestal here with a book with something written here 
it's got, it got removed. Oh, how unfortunate. Boomland Jenkins, if you're watching, <coughs> tell us why you removed it. Now, left over from previous chest for sure. But okay, okay, here we were saying that we have Ophidians on one side and Terratang on the other side. And one random Ophidian here. No, oh no, still Ophidian here. Yeah, the Terratans, uh, so they must be a little bit later. Okay. Here you have still something surrounding the lake. Here is a dungeon that is not reachable, I think. Yeah, these are... Oh, yeah. This is the CTF something. What is this? Yeah, I believe it's CTF. Either capture the flag or... <coughs> some automated event. I cannot remember the one. Okay, let's continue. Here is nothing interesting. You cannot tell it to this. You cannot tell it to this, I think. Can you? Yeah, no, target is blocked. Location is blocked. Okay, let's go. Let's move. Um, all right, here. Well, where are the Terratans? Uh, they, they must be further north. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go with, with this interesting rope. I remember on Europa you were falling from this rope. After a while, while you were, um, while you were, um, um, like walking on the rope, say so you're, you're about to fall, you're about to fall, and you would fall eventually. Here's the, here's the lever. I cannot double click it. Oh, can I double click it? No, I cannot double click it. So who knows? Who knows? Maybe Boomland will place something here interesting. So to go down, you're gonna just walk that, walk that way. <coughs> okay, now we're approaching a very intense zone of the Terratans. Okay, here are more precise corridors. <coughs> At the beginning, the spawn is is slow, but eventually, when you approach the other swan, the spawn becomes crazy. Okay, here you have surrounding corridors. Just to have great fights here during <coughs> Age of Shadow era. Really great fights. Really great fights here for champion spawns. Ooh. Why is that here? Uh, okay. So you go around, you go around, you have this this stone arch, which are a bit annoying because you cannot run straight line here. Oh, Mount is fatigued again. Tell me. Okay. Don't tell me. Okay, we run around here with just Terratan drones, which are just a nuisance. And with nothing interesting, but now here, when we approach here, we start to find something interesting. There should be levers here. Many levers. And I never... Ooh, I never knew. Um, these are... Gonna be provoked. So let's try and take a look here without dying. There's, there's only one lever here. I, I remembered more levers for some reason. I honestly remember more levers. Wait, Terratan Avengers are such a beast. Yeah, I thought the material could have done a little bit damage to these guys. Okay, we gotta be... So this lever is not working. Even this lever is not working. I don't know. I, I remember it used to be working on Europa. But I have no idea. Maybe they will become they will become part of quests uh, from Boomland Jenkins. But yeah, that's that's very interesting. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, here we are approaching the swamp here. So let's take a look at the swamp here. Here in later eras there is uh, Mephitis spawn. I remember the altar here. I remember people earthquaking from the from those ledges, and Mephitis was just dead upon spawning. 
Here I have had very interesting battles around these corridors. Okay, you see the spawn is intense here. Here is where we came from, and we took these, these, uh, this corridor to the east. Okay, let's go. Let's let's go around. There is nothing. It's just like this. It's just a silk, teratan, teratan silk, no spider silk, I guess. Corridors. And you go around the main swamp here. Go around. You go around. Here, there's a ladder to go down. Here again, corridor. I can't remember if you can actually teleport. Yeah, you can teleport up here. And you cannot tell it down. Can you tell it also up here? Interesting. This is no recall. I mean, unless I'm telling you, Terror and Keep is no recall nowhere. So how do I get down now? Let's see. What, the video cut out? I got down. Yeah, you, I simply teleported down through server save. Okay, here you can... You could, on Europa, do this. On, your, on Europa, they removed this. So you could actually... Run, uh, run up from here. All right. Here we cannot do that, so we resort to doing this. Go here, and we reach the most famous star room. Okay, star room. No recall. No gate. No nothing. All right. Unless you go here. Unless you go here. The very last style. You can recall. You can mark. You can gate travel. And this, uh, I, I'm telling you, this is interesting. I'll tell you in a bit. Here it spawns the um, music sheet. On top of this, this is the static one. When you see the one spawning, it spawns like this. Uh, I, I almost never find the music sheet. And if you take the moon gate, you go back to normal moon gate. Moon gate, deep forest, this might be, for instance, you Moongate, what about this, Deep Forest on all, on all sides. So now it is linked to the Deep Forest. So it's linked to You Moongate. Now, here if you take this tile, you go back here. Alright, what is this? Edging. I don't know. What, what is that? So now my idea here is I will try and farm here. So you see here you gate and you gate in your dragons. You try and gate in your dragons and you go here. You go here and there is room to place a turret here. There is room to place a turret. Okay. I believe here is block on three tiles. Okay, broken three tiles. You block this tile. You can place your turret here, and you can actually drag spawn, drag spawn to the turret. I think, I, I think that here spawns tone down, tone down after a bit, tones down after a bit. So that's not really working, but we can try. I mean, we can try. Now let's go back to the other side here. Here's the bridge. Here's the bridge. Why well, forgot to say that in Star Room, let's go back to Star Room. Here I forgot to say that in later eras you had the altar where you could uh, deposit all the skull from Champion Spawn and summon the, the Harrower. Yeah, that's later eras. I remember huge fights here because there were people defending the star room here inside star room. People would come from here. They would try and fire field you, poison field you, earthquake you, and they would go back inside get rest by their teammates. So there was a huge team on this side, a huge team on this side. It was crazy times, like PVPing with like 20 versus 20. But never in my case. In my case, it was more 10 versus 30. But yeah. Good old times. Okay, here the bridge to get back. Here, there is nothing to say about this end of the dungeon, unfortunately. There is nothing much to say about this bit of the dungeon here. We are going to see the interesting bit in a few. Okay, here there's rooms. All just drones, Terrathon drones. Regular, regular rooms. I don't know why. 
Okay, let's open here. Here there's a narrow passage. You see, you can go through. I've never been in this room. These are cocoons that you cannot do nothing, you cannot double click them, you're not gonna spawn dread spiders here. I mean, this is this would be an interesting place to to make dread spiders. I mean, this is a great suggestion. Just just put dread spider here. It would be interesting for spawn. Interesting location. No recall. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It would be interesting. It is a various room with really nothing more than this. You also have giant spiders for some reasons here among Teratans. Here you have also here another 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 room. But really nothing. Now if you if you remember I we started with the barroom room and now it's time to go to the barroom room almost. Here there's more uh, more towers. I think this tower is also accessible, yeah. But this is only one level. One level. The other towers are two levels. Okay, here there's two levels from this tower. The spawn is no more polarized. Here's two levels. Okay, and there is no exit from this tower. While the other tower is the tower where we came from. Okay, here you can tell inside. Here you can tell inside. And you can actually dragon turret from here. I have a video dragon turreting from here. One of the very, very, very first video of the channel. And I have also other videos of me EVing somebody inside here. So this is <coughs> a place where you can place a turret. I will try and make a video to explain it thoroughly. A dragon turret, also no white wind turret. You cannot place a white wind turret here. I mean, you can place it, but they will end up maskersing each other. So, so that's not the point. Gotta be careful. People can take it down. But that's another video, another story. Time to approach the bar room. room. All right, let's go here. Okay, here more rooms. Sorry, more rooms. Oh, here's another tower. I forgot there was another tower here. There was another tower here. I totally forgot. Only one, only one, only one floor. Okay, let's go to the barroom room. How do you do that? Here is still a recall. Okay, he is recall zone, but here again. So again, here recall. No recall. Okay, and with no recall comes no mark, no nothing, no gate. Okay, here is the one narrow corridor. Keep in mind to have refresh pot here. And remember, people can block it with tables. You can block it with the uh, wall of stone. So normally, how do people normally farm barons here? They summon something here. The barons stay the aggro. Once the baron have taken the aggro, you can basically be free. Okay. Have the Baron take the aggro, let's see. See, the Barons have taken the aggro. Have they? You don't... You don't go inside. Because if you go, they take the aggro on you again. Shit, one came out. Wait a sec. I'm gonna... Make him come in again. Alright. Alright, wait a minute, let's go outside again. Let's make them take the aggro of the of the grizzly bear. Okay, <coughs> one of them has taken the aggro and the other has taken the aggro. You don't do that. You don't walk to them, because otherwise they take your aggro, you teleport. Teleport is fine. Teleport is fine. They're like T-Rexes. I mean, if they see you moving, they, they see you. But if you don't move and tell you that they don't see you. So when you see a T-Rex, don't move. And if you want to move, just tell him. <coughs> and now you're free to provoke them like one, two. And there we go. Speed up the process. As always, you do this to speed up the process. <coughs> and let's see. It's very handy to have barons, two barons here. One of them is always stronger than the other, so at the end of the day you end up with one Balron. 
that you got a EV down. These guys are a lot fucking stronger than that. The Slayer. Yeah, it's munching the other guy. You might want to throw an EV at the end, maybe to get the other guy down. You gotta do damage. You're not gonna gain gain fame from this because you didn't do damage. Okay. Let's see. Beast make. Beast make. Beast make. Ah. Don't cast. That's nice. Come on, die. Ooh, resisted. What the heck? What? The <laughs> yeah, it's annoying when they resist. All right. And they always, they always have a broadsword, a magical broadsword that they are wielding. So if you find a charged weapon, they're going to burn charge if they fight like that. So if, if you spot that they're using charges maybe from GT, so they, they all stop, I mean, like, what, broadsword. I, I, I just said that they always have a magical broadsword. This is the only time I find a, a normal broadsword. <coughs> okay. Stop them if you see something GT spamming, that's a GT broadsword, it's all peacemake and throw an EV, having poisoned and cure and dispel the EV so it doesn't waste charges. Alright, now we're gonna go for a little boat adventure, so let me go grab a boat and be right back. Alright, here we are with the boat, let's go here. Let's go boating here. You see there's dead Ophidians, 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 yeah, there's... So long as the character is here, they will battle each other. If nobody is here, they will be frozen in time. So here is the best place where you can place a boat. And I have... I have ideas of trying to place a night, Nightmare Turret here. But yeah... Okay, let's go place a boat here. As I was saying, here the north part, here it's not really worth it. But here is the interesting bit. Here's the interesting bit. Okay, let's go place a boat. No recall into the key. So that's the good old double clicking, double clicking, double clicking. And double clicking. Alright. Let's maneuver. Let's maneuver. Raise anchor, turn around, forward, forward left. Here in this corridor, forward, you have interesting places. The first interesting place is here. Why stop? Why on earth did I have I stop? Forward, left. These are both blockade. This is about blockade. But it's on purpose, and we are going to take a look at those boats. Okay, those boats later. Now we take a look at these boats. Sorry, now we take a look at here. What is here? Here is Granite Castle, last room, and it's from a quest of the past. Right. Forward. Let's see if I... All right. Here, I think I, I uh, drop anchor. Wait a minute. I more than think I'm certain you can tell it here. Target cannot be seen. There is a way to tell it. There is a way to tell it. I've, did, I've done it in the past. I just. Yes, okay. And I can also dock the boat maybe from here. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is the last last room of Castle Granite, I think. There is something, and Boomland Jenkins can enlighten us on, the, on this. This is only accessible this way. It's been the stage of a huge final, final battle. 
And aside from that, well, there's there's really nothing more to to say to this. Here, there's this teleport that we say that we're gonna watch in a few. But yeah, these firefields don't do no damage. What is this? A tambourine from Britain. Yeah, these are just normal guild stones. Yeah, this is. I don't know what is this. What it is. Yeah, this is just a curious room. Just a curious room. If you take this, it should tell it to the outside of Castle Granite. To the entrance. Yeah, there it is. It is shame. Yeah, left the throne room of the eternal shadow. Okay, here used to be the entrance of Castle Granite, now blocked. Now totally blocked. You can sort of access here. This is south or oh, southeast of Shane. You can sort of access it here. I believe we saw this in the video. How big is Britannia? And say this is. We we used it to measure the height of a mountain. Yeah, we used to measure the height of the mountain like this. So. Tabletan keeps can all can also get you here. How how cool is that? Can you not why why it's blocked? It's not it's, that's swamp tiles. Why is it blocked? I never tried to tell it there. Too far away. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's grab a teller ring. Let's try with the teller ring because. Teleport spell is 10 times range. Teller ring is 12 times range. Don't ask me why. Don't ask why. Target cannot be seen. Hmm. Target cannot be seen. Really? Location is blocked. Location is blocked. Hmm. Wait a sec. Location is blocked. I came from there. What are you talking about? This is swamp. Target cannot be seen. A swamp? What the? Target cannot be seen. What the heck? What do you mean target cannot fucking be seen? Let's try from here. It goes on and on. Oh no, it stops there. Fucker. Target cannot be seen. Come on, some Z axis, some bug of Z axis here. Location is blocked. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. So, where do we go here? Hmm. Wow, I never, I never thought I could reach this spot. And without Tellering. Gotta be curious in this damn game. Your curiosity will get you play to places. So, Boomland Jenkins, I hope you will enlighten us on this. Um, how do we call this place? Swamp... Swamp Waterfall? And we are gonna add this. We're gonna add this to the new rune library at Justice Island. So we're gonna add that. Justice Island rune library just opened again. Roadkill form a rune library just opened again. People been bugging me forever to reopen it. Put it to good use. Yeah, I put it to good use now. And we are gonna do also put the rune to the swamp waterfall there. Let's go back to Terratan Key because I gotta show you one more thing. And here we are to the Marvelous Boats. Remember the boat blockade, okay, the boat blockade, the boat blocking was this, there was a boat here, another boat blocking, another boat blocking, and here, here are the magic boats, here, along the masts is a server line, along the mast is a server line, here, one tile north is um, T2A, and one tile south is Feluca, so here, I can recall, here I can recall, here I can recall, if I go too too far away north, I encounter the same problem, the spell does not appear to work, the Terratan Keep, Terratan Keep problem, area of influence where tele, no tele, where recall, gate travel, mark doesn't work, don't work. 
Here they do work. And here there's a server line. So here I am both with this boat. Half of this boat is in, in T2A and half of this boat is in Fell. Why are they placed like this? Because if you use the key and this boat is not placed like this, the recall tile, which is here, will be here, would be in T2A. And you're not going to be able to recall to T2A if your uh, ship key is in your house. Okay, in Feluca, of course, because there's no housing in T2A. While the other has to be placed like this, because, okay, you can have backup keys in your bank to access the boat from the T2A side. All right? So what you do here is you recall from your key, from your castle, to this ship. Then have chests here with all room books, as if it was your house. And use this to access any any spot in T2A because this is your private T2A entrance, all right? Which is very very good, very very good. Here I can go Terra Kip again because this is T2A. All right. And wait. Whereas if I stay here in Fell. I can recall back to Feluca locations. See that? How easy is that? Wally! Invulnerable! So, guys, we covered Terra Kip. This is over. We covered Terra Kip. Very 20k of Magnus. Nice. We covered Terra Kip. A very, very cool dungeon, in my opinion. Really, really cool dungeon. This might also be an exit to Terra Keep, I'd say. Very, very cool dungeon. Can we could we go down? No, we don't. We, we cannot. Very cool dungeon. I hope you enjoyed it. This, I believe, puts an end to the dungeon cover series. But don't despair. We're going to start covering also outside locations, because there's several outside locations that got to be covered. The first to mention, of course, might be Terra Keep outside. Terra Keep outside, but there's Ophilair, for instance. There's Cyclops Valley. I don't know. There's Fire Temple. Ulysses. Why not Ulysses? There's many, 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 many possible locations. The Hedge Maze. There's many locations that are gonna be covered that are not dungeons, not strictly dungeons. There's also cities that might be covered. There's there's a lot of things in this game. So thanks everybody for watching, and I hope you liked the video. I hope I showed you something that you didn't know about Terra Keep or, or Ultima Line in general. And I hope really you liked it. And if you liked it, put like, subscribe, share the content, come play Second Age, come come kill my PK, come do stuff. Come join Discord just to say hello and say you love Ultima Online. Okay, thanks again and I'll see you soon in the next series of video. Take care.